Shalom, shalom, brothers. Brother Kamal Mahar here, back at it again. First thing first, we'll give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Kakudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the Nash Truth from GMS. Blessing to the Aki, my dear, preaching his word with whole heart, true sincerity. Blessing to the 44,000, one third entirely. The first fruits, kingdom of heaven. House of David, W. Yafda, Wada. And shallow worms, you brothers out there speaking in different tongues and looking in different nations. Shallow worms, you brothers, man. So today, brothers, man, you know, I'm just pretty much vexed with this Babylon that we in. You know, spiritually Babylon. I'll just lock it in again. Go ahead and keep going, man. Um, you know, and um, you know, and I'm seeing all the things that's going on, man. I know you brothers seen it too, man. The the prophecies is is uh jumping off the pages. So, you know, what's the end all be all, man? You know, that this place be destroyed with ICBM missiles, man. And then you know, and that's what I pray for, you know, all the time, man. You know, all the brothers in the Bible ball, brothers be saying to Babylon, Shalak Rayam, the Babylon. You know what I mean? So this place needs to go, man. We need new rulership, man. You know, pursuing, you know, the Proverbs 29 and 2. When a, when a righteous are in the people rejoice. But when a wicked bear rule, the people mourn. You know? Roughly paraphrasing and vice versa. You know, so, you know, that's what we looking for, man. Because, you know, when this happens, you know, Lord, will I could be a part of that number. You know, other so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians of the elect. You know, the, the 144,000 and one-third entirely. You get beamed up, man. Because when this place because when this place get destroyed, it's going to get destroyed real bad, man. And it's coming real quickly. You see the problems going on in... Uh, with the Taliban regaining their situation and all the kingdoms of the people are are, are upset at Babylon, man. You know, they had that out of control for a while. And now they, they let they let, let them dudes go ahead and do their thing, man. This, this whole thing is getting set up for World War III, man. This World War III is going to happen. And by the time World War III happens, Babylon is going to be already gone, man. And by that time, you know, that's going to be the perfect situation when Yahweh Shah come back, man. And that's going to be the best thing in the situation right there, you know. So that's what we waiting for, man. But, you know, but this place, man, has a sore, sore destruction coming to his place, man. And, yo, man, you know, I know brother's seen it. You know, I, I've been looking at, um, not too long ago, I was looking up videos on what a nuclear blast can do. And, you know, I, I found, you know, my, my brother, Yawat the Zot was, was schooling me on it. That apparently an atomic bomb was like, was the one was in Hiroshima or Nagasaki or whatever. But now, apparently, for a nuclear warhead, there is atomic bombs, multiple atomic bombs in it, and it takes, I think it takes, right, multiple, no, no, nuclear warheads in the front, and it takes an atomic bomb to ignite it, that's crazy, you know what I'm saying, so, that's a double whammy, and I've seen what it can do, and all the different blast radius and situation like that, or whatever, man, and the, the first wave, and the mushroom cloud, and all like that, Hey yo, man! The scriptures talk about how it's gonna be two, two thousand dollars. Matter of fact, what is that? Bring that precept out. Uh, it's uh, thousands and thousands, thousands times. Daniel 7. Yeah, I'm going to go to Revelations 5 and 11. Revelations 5 and 11. It says, it says, uh, let me see. It says, and I beheld and heard a voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders. And the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of and thousands of thousands. That's the one I wanted. Those are the angels. Let me see something. Let me see uh, Daniel 7 and 10. I know there was a, a, a precept I was looking for. Brothers, I heard it before too. Brothers probably watch this video know exactly where it's at. Normally, I should know. Uh, that might have been it. That might have been it. But um, I'm, I'm having a little trouble with that one, brothers. But um, but basically, just going to be a whole lot of missiles. That might have been it, too. That might have been it. Um, that definitely might have been it. It's my 
the last little bit to the tent right here. Uh, yeah, that might have been it right there. I'll give, I'll give my brothers in, in a little bit. Once I get it, then I won't forget it again. But, you know, these, but every every nation in the world that, that has nuclear power are all going to come together and, and, and throw all the ICBM missiles at uh, at Babylon. And that's pursuing a Jeremiah 50, actually. And I felt, let, me, let me start at, um, um, let me start at Jeremiah 51 first. 51 and uh, 1. It says, Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon, against them that dwell in the midst of, of, uh, midst of them, that rise up against me a destroying wind. What's that wind, man? You know, that blast radius, that, that you know, that, that nuclear boom, and when it when it comes in a situation, that boom, and then it causes that cloud and that blast radius. And it says, and I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land, for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about, right? Because you know all the different nations are going to are, are, are going to be all around about, and they're going to all shoot at one time at uh, at Babylon, man. That's a that's a heavy, heavy, heavy. I mean, that's like that's more than overkill. Cause you think about it, man. The Lord's showing out because you got to think about it like this. I would say, man, all you got to do is send one nuke to every city. That should pretty pretty much do it. As far as like the major situation, but then you know you got the middle part of America too. So I would say, man, shoot, uh, uh, China just just created a new a new nuclear warhead called the Moab. That's called Moab too, right? That's some shit. But the Moab is mother of all bombs. So that one is obviously strong enough to do some crazy, crazy damage on a on an extreme blast radius right there by itself. So just imagine where Russia combined with Korea, uh, China, NATO, all the NATO, all the NATO uh, situation countries that have nuclear power shoot everything at one time and and one and one nuke can do can damn near destroy a city wow like yo that's utter 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 destruction and it says um i go to three and against him that benef against him that benef let the archer bend his bow and against him that lifted himself up in the in his brigadine and spare ye not her young men destroy ye utterly all her hosts right the whole entire Babylon from east to west coast and vice versa going to be destroyed. It said it's not going to be now one stone, to, one, one stone or something like that. Roughly paraphrasing, uh, turned down, man. It's going to be utter wasteland, like just to a point where it's going to be like this destruction going to be so crazy. It's going to be remembered for generations, man. For real, you know what I'm saying? And it's going to be out of this fucking control. Because remember in Jeremiah 16. It's going it, that that part of destruction. The day of the Lord going to be so crazy. It's going to it's going to surpass the Exodus. And you and here's a, here here it goes in Jeremiah 16, where it says in 14, it says, "There therefore behold the days come, saith Yahweh Shemayahshah, that it shall be no more said that the Lord Yahweh Shem, Shemayahshah liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt." So when you know the Lord live, the saying is, "Oh, you know the Lord. You know the Lord exists because he deleted. He did those wonderful works with Moses." Delivering the children of Israel out of Egypt. That's like a major thing to know that the Lord is real. That's what that's the, the ancient situation why you would say. But here's this here's this though. It says, But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall live that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, which is Babylon, where we are in the now in America, and from all the lands whither he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I, I gave them gave unto their fathers. Why? Because not only is it not only is a Babylon gonna be destroyed so crazy and so terrifying that it's gonna be chariots flying around delivering the elect while it's going down simultaneously. It's gonna be the most craziest thing you've ever seen. Destruction and salvation at the same time. Getting beamed up, getting delivered. Not to mention you're gonna have the dead in Yahweh Shah rise first. That's gonna be that's gonna even look crazy. It's gonna be the craziest day that in, in the history of mankind, and it's gonna surpass going to surpass the uh exodus man and let alone let alone you know you got you got the icbm missiles ain't nobody has ever seen all those missiles at one time like it says in joel the second chapter like okay let's get into it joel the second chapter hey yo this is crazy man joel uh joel and joel go hard because because you gotta be a vision you gotta you get vision this thing Joel too. I bring these out from time to time, but this is about Babylon in its in its final hour, man. It says, it says I started second. I started two. Nah, I started one. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. 
Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of Yahweh Shemiah cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Because this is going to be a crazy day. Boy, that, that day going to be crazy. It says, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and, and thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, a great, a great people and a strong, there have not been ever the light, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. Right. It's not going to be a day like this ever, ever, ever exists again. And it says a day of clouds and thick darkness because that mushroom cloud that comes up, it's going to be so many of them that when they, when the mushroom cloud does its thing, it's going to create, create uh, crazy clouds and great darkness. Man, it's going to block the sun out, man. Let alone when Yahweh Shah come through that big ass chariot, that's going to block the sun too. That's going to be crazy. And it says, a fire devoureth before them and behind them a flame burneth. Right. So it's talking about, visualize this. It's talking about a fire before them um, is the is the is the nuclear warheads in on the tip of it? That's before them, and then it says, and behind them a flame burneth. That's the that's the that's the uh, the the, the, uh, the the technology of the booster for the fire to shoot out for so it can go to where to its destination. That's what it's talking about. It said that the land is a garden of Eden before them. Right, everything's in place. Everything looks beautiful. There's flowers growing. People walking around. Buildings standing up. Football, football uh, 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 fields and soccer fields and stadiums and da 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 da. And then it says, and behind them a desolate wilderness because when a bomb hits, it blows up everything and destroys everything in its path and makes it a desolate wilderness. That's what it's talking about. And yeah, and nothing shall escape them. Not nothing. Not to mention, there's going to be too many of them shooting at Babylon where it's impossible to escape this. It ain't like it hit over in California or something and everybody on the East Coast was cool. No, East Coast getting it too. Middle getting it too. The 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 the, 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 the you got the you got the, the the west coast and beside the west coast, then the center part, and then beside the center part, and then the east coast. Everything can hit. Everything everything must go. And it says the appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so 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 shall they run. Right, because the horses go into power. It's always talking about power in the scriptures. They have great power. Like the like the noise of chariots on the top of mountains, they shall leap. Like the noise of a flame of fire, they fire that devoured the stubble as a strong people set in battle array. Right, because when when you um when you hear a, a when you hear a, a, a army on the top of a hill or they coming and they pretty much like ah you can you can hear them from a distance. Or if you see a fighter jet go blast by, that like when a fighter jet blasts by, it has a strong, strong, loud, extremely sound let alone a missile. So then you got thousands and thousands and millions of missiles in the air at one time. That sound coming is going to be terrifying. It's going to be so loud, it's going to be out of control. And it's going to be set in battle array like you see a bunch of horses coming out on, on a battle. It's going to look the same way. It says, before their face, before their face, the people shall be much pain. All faces shall gather blackness. Right, when you see all these missiles coming at one time, you just gonna be sitting there like, oh shit, like it's over, it's a wrap. Like there's no get, like man. It says they shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. Remember, because in the ancient day, those walls that used to protect kingdoms were really huge, like like in the, like in the movie Troy. So it's talking about how the missiles are going to go up in the air, in the air. They go because they call inter intercontinental ballistic missiles. So they go up in the air. They go up damn near to the to pretty much outer space. And then they come back down to hit their hit their mark, and so they're gonna climb the wall because they, they go up high and they go up in the, in the sky high. They climb the wall, go up really high, and they come back down and they do damage. And it says, it says they shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. They shall march everyone on his way, and they shall not break the ranks. Right. So they're gonna be no mishap. Ain't gonna be no misfire of any missile. Every missile that's been shot will hit its mark. Because remember, it's going to have the spirit of Yahweh Bashanel shot inside of it, man. And it's going, it's going to hit exactly where it's supposed to. And it says, neither, it says, uh, neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk everyone in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. Right. There ain't going to be no defense mechanisms. Nothing's going to be able to stop these things. I don't care what you got. Nothing going to stop these missiles that, from, from hitting their mark. And it says, they shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter into the house, into the windows like, like a thief. Yeah, man. The earth shall quake before them. 
the heavens shall tremble, the sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Right, because it's going to be when these missiles blow up, man. Yo, man, they going they going to block the sun out, man. Like kind of like volcanic volcanic uh, volcanic ash does. It's going to be a bad situation. And it's going to be like Terminator 2 coming at the situation. If I was to go to um, Joel 2, it's cold, man. You can vision that. If I go to uh, Jeremiah 50 and 14, uh, Jeremiah 50 is hard body, but I really wanted this. I really wanted the scripture right here. 50 and 14. It says, it says, put yourselves. Matter of fact, let me start up right. Okay, so uh, I'll start 13. Because of the wrath of Yahweh Shai, it shall not be inhabited, Babylon, but it shall be wholly desolate, Babylon. Everyone that go by Babylon shall be astonished and the hiss at her all her plagues. Right. When you see somebody, like, man, imagine somebody, somebody getting rolled on, and then when they get up from all these dudes kicking them in their face, somebody they get up with big bumps on their face and blood everywhere. What you gonna do? You're gonna be like, damn. That's how you're gonna really base it. You're gonna that's cause, cause hissing at the plagues of it. They're gonna be looking at it like, ooh. That looked like it hurt. Like, oh shit. Let me get away from this situation, man. I'm getting away from that. That's how it's gonna be. It says, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow. Talking about every nation that has a that has a ICBM missiles. It's talking about every nation. And it says, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow. Shoot at her. Spare no arrows. That means empty the clip, man. And it says, for she shall. For she has sinned against Yahweh Shemashah. Shoot against her round about. She has given her hand. Her, her foundations are fallen. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of Yahweh Shemashah to take vengeance upon her, as she have done unto, as she has done and do unto her. Cut off the sour from, cut off the sour from Babylon, and him that handled the sickle into the town of Horus. For fear of a pressing sword, they shall turn everyone to his people, and they shall flee everyone to his own land. Right. It's going to be bad, man. Babylon's going to be destroyed something real crazy, man. And, it, and, and, and it's going to be a terrifying situation for the lands that don't get hit, because the whole world going to shake. The whole world going to shake. It's going to be an earthquake. going, man, these missiles do damage, man. Listen, they, look, look. This is Jeremiah, what? This is uh, Jeremiah 14. Look at this. I brought this out before, but but this, 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 let's just ponder on this thing. Jeremiah 14 and, and, and 13. It's 12. No, no, no. Uh, 14 and Zechariah. Salakia. It's Zechariah. Zechariah uh, 14. 12. It says, And this shall be the plague whereof the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Wow. It's only one weapon that can do that, man. And that's the ICBM missiles, man. That nuclear power is something crazy, man. And the Lord and, and the Lord controlled all. Matter of fact, that's a scripture on that too. Uh I think it's uh was that Jeremiah uh no Isaiah uh 54 and 16, I believe. It says, Behold, I have created the smith that blow up the coals in the fire and the and bring forth an instrument of his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. What is that waster to destroy? The ICBM missiles. And they come to Babylon, man. And it needs to be. This place is extremely wicked, man. Yo, I am tired of seeing all the sodomite shit, unrighteous decrees, paying taxes, being oppressed by our enemies, man. Esau being first, pursuing the Psalms 83. You know, and they just all they do is just try to just bring us down more and more and more. Now, nope, yep, we in our captivity, we know it. But then in the day though, but the Lord's still going to bring Esau down on all those nations, and they, they got they got they got they can only pay that tab by slavery. After a thousand years, Esau, you're going to be exterminated, man. So get ready, get get, get ready for destruction, man. Because this place was, would no more be remembrance, man. Just like how I would say, what else was that? Jeremiah seventeen nine. No, 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 Isaiah Isaiah eighty three. I mean, um, Psalms 83, where it says, we will make them, which will, will destroy their name and make them no more in remembrance. We're going to do the same thing to Esau. Into this wicked system, and we're going, and we're going uh, pretty much set our own system, system, you know, under Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah, and then under, under Yahweh Shah, you know, we're going to contribute to the, you know, 
uh, judging the 12, 12 tribes of, of, of Israel, man. Lord willing, I could be a part of that number. You know what I mean? So I brought this out, brother. I want a quick hit with that, man. Babylon will be done. It's got it got to go. It does. And you know, all the all the nations are going to are going to shoot missiles at them. Every every missile they got, everything they got, give it all you got. And they they gonna empty the whole clip. I brought this out as edifying to you, brothers. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, and Yahweh, he is to be exists by Hashem, the name, and the only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, the name, and the Holy Spirit of Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the truth from GMS. Blessing to the Akim of preaching his word, or who are true sincerity. Blessing to the 144,000, one third entirely, the first fruits of kingdom of heaven. The house of David, the Biaf, that would die. And shalom to you, brothers out there speaking different tongues and looking different nations. Shalom to you, brothers.